All right then, so as you can see behind me, there's the 9bot Segway ES4. Now originally, if you haven't seen the video, this was an ES2 scooter. And then I added the bolt-on battery pack for some extra top speed and torque. But you know what, it's well built, it's got a good build quality to it. And now it's the ES4. So in this video, I'm going to go through a few of the maintenance tips that I've picked up to keep this scooter running in tip-top condition. Tip number one, always wear gardening gloves. I'm joking. So this video does aim to cover the most basic of maintenance tasks, everything from cleaning to lubrication to any observations that I've made with this scooter on the 500 miles that I've ridden it so far. So one of the most important things about running one of these scooters is keeping it clean. And I do that with a simple bucket of warm soapy water and a cloth. Now you're never gonna get this back to factory new, but it will look a lot better once it's clean. And just up to the front wheel here. How much better does that look already? And onto the stem and the handlebars next. I'm just gonna wipe it down with a wet cloth. What I tend to do here is just use a wet sponge on the grip, then I'll use a wet cloth just to dry it off afterwards. So cleaning this thing took all of five minutes and it looks brand spanking new. Now we need to lubricate the wheel bearings and the folding mechanism. Now some people would use WD-40, I would recommend against that. I would use something like GT85. Now GT85 is a maintenance spray and it's also a lubricant. Now WD-40 is actually a water repellent. It actually gets rid of water from fixtures and fittings. So it's not really ideal for this task. You just spray it on and wipe off the excess and you're good to go. Here's the rear wheel, just gonna spray a little bit on the bearing. Simple as that. And then we're just gonna dry and wipe off any excess fluid. Obviously that'll be done on both sides of this bearing. Same thing for the rear shock absorber. Just gonna spray a little bit of this lubricating fluid all over this. And we're gonna wipe off the excess. Really easy, really simple to do. And I think quite important for the smooth running of your machine. No more squeaks, no more creaks. Same goes for the front wheel, just spray behind this little plastic guard here. And remember to catch the excess, you don't want it on the tires. And you need to do this on both sides. So if it's very dry and dusty where you guys live, use a dry lubricant. If it's very wet and always rainy, use a wet lubricant. So after 500 miles of riding this thing, I did notice one of the main issues is that the screws tend to unscrew here on the stem. And they also tend to just loosen up in general. So it's always a good idea just to now and again, just check them over, it doesn't do any harm. And uh, a long-term solution and fix for this for me was purchasing some thread locker or Loctite. And you just take your screw out, you dab a little bit of this on your screw, and then put the screw back in and it will not come loose ever again. So that's what I did, that was my solution. And um, I just used this multi-tool. So I purchased this from basically a hardware store. It was a couple of dollars, a couple of pounds. I uh, just used it to tighten up all my screws. So a typical ride distance for me on this is about 12 miles. I'm 105 kilos and the recommended top load for this is 100. Now I ride this in S mode, sport mode all of the time. I think I could probably eke out another two to three miles if I was to ride in limited mode or just standard mode. However, for my weight and for my experience on the scooter, I enjoy riding it with its full power. I always keep the batteries in this fully charged, so after each ride, I'll top it back up. If I go for a long ride, so 12 miles or so, I'll make sure it's fully charged straight away because the batteries don't tend to do so well if you discharge them too far. The suspension at the rear tends to creak quite a lot, um, especially after you've been in dusty conditions. So that's why I GT85 did it here in this video to show you my solution to that creaking issue, and it works a treat. Let's talk about the tyres, because the ride on this thing is quite hard, it's quite firm. That's because the tyres aren't air filled, they're solid. Now what I have seen some people do is when their tyre tread goes down to a bald level here, they'll use a knife to cut new grooves, new tread into the tyre, just to prolong its lifespan and to stop you from having to change this with a new one. 
But as you can see, the rear one is also in excellent condition. If you're planning to ride this at night, the front headlight is very bright and it actually helps you to see a long way in the distance. And as you brake, the rear flashes at people so they know you're slowing down. The rubber grip seems to be holding out okay. The rear brake seems to be holding out okay. The overall condition of this scooter after 500 miles, I think is in very good condition. But then again, I guess that goes without saying if you keep things well looked after. I'm gonna trick the motor into spinning without me on it. Oh yeah. If you haven't got an electric scooter yet, I would recommend this 9Bot ES4. I picked mine up from purescooters.com. There will be links right down below. They delivered it next day, so it was a fantastic service for me. And the scooter, the product is brilliant. No issues with anything, there's no faults. It's absolutely brilliant piece of kit. It's a great way to explore the countryside, and it's a great way to commute as well. If you guys haven't seen my terrain testing video yet for this scooter, I want to show you guys that this scooter isn't all about just riding on smooth tarmac. You can take it in other places as well. Oh yeah! Check out the link right down below, but basically we go off road with this thing and it performed brilliantly. Now a couple more things to mention. I have the energy recovery level on this set to weak. You do regain a little bit of power over the duration of your trip, which is really good. Another thing to mention, I very rarely travel at 18 miles an hour, which is its top speed. I tend to ride at maybe 12 and keep it on cruise control. The cruise control setting comes in really handy. So you hold it down for five seconds and the scooter keeps going at that speed until you press the brake, which is really cool. So there we go. I've got nothing more useful to say today. And I hope this has helped you out. That's the 9Bot Segway ES4, my maintenance and tips guide. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to have a look at this, look down below. PureScooters.com link will be down below. They sell them on their next day delivery. It's pretty awesome. And as always, I'll see you next time for some more fun. Bye for now. Bye.